Slava Jesus Christo. Glory be to Jesus Christ. And good morning to one and all, to those who are in our parish, in our church building today, or St. Joseph's welcome. And to those who are viewing us with the help of YouTube this morning, we're so glad whether you're here or at your homes that we are worshiping, praying, and giving praise to our God today. Today uh, is usually the, the Sunday where we as St. Joseph celebrates our, our parish praznik, our parish feast day. Uh, because of COVID, uh, our usual is changed a little. It is a prayerful day and we're blessed to have with us uh, our Metropolitan, Metropolitan Lawrence, who will celebrate liturgy today. Uh, as well as the newly ordained deacon Walter Dudich. Both of them will lead us in prayer uh, today. Before me, behind me on the tetrapod, is the icon of Saint Joseph, uh, as well as decorated with flowers, to remind us of the importance of this day in the life of our parish community. Our parish patron is St. Joseph, and since the beginning of our parish, St. Joseph has been interceding for our parish, and we are reminded today to also seek his intercession now and throughout the year for our parish, especially during this time when we are challenged to be parish in different and new ways. We also thank God for the grace of our parish of St. Joseph's, how we've been blessed and how God continues to bless. So as we begin to pray today, remember our parish and all our parishioners on this, our parish feast day, and ask God to continue to bless us in many special ways. And let us also ask St. Joseph to continue to intercede for all of us. Slava Jesus Christo. Slava Navika. Heavenly King, Advocate, Spirit of Truth, or everywhere present and fill all things, treasure of blessings, bestower of life, 
come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all that defiles us, and, O good one, save our souls. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, among men goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, among men goodwill. Lord, you'll open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. It's time to ask for the Lord, Master, give the blessing. Blessed be our God, always now, forever and ever. Pray for me, Master. May the Lord direct your steps. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always now, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, you shall open my mouth. My lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Blahoslove Vladeko Blahoslove no Tsar Svotsya hi sena i sudoho ducha Neni pošak čas i na vike vični Amin Meri Hospode, vi pomolim se Hospode, pomelo Za mer zvesot i spasinje duš naše Hospode, vi pomolim se Hospode Zamer so spitu dobri stancijo teh Bože crko, zjedenanja svih, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Zače teh hram se i tešča viruju po Božnišju, strahom Božnjom, hodu do njoho, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Zače teh slanjsko arhijereja naša Franciska Papa Rimskoho, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Za blaženišoho, vrhovnoho patriarha našo Svjatoslava i za perošešenišoho metropolita našo Kjer Lorentija, za boholjubevoho i česne presvetistvo v Hristi i Djakonsi i vesprečet ljudej, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Za Bohom bere ženi narod naš, za pravljenja i vse visku, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Za misto vse i za kožen mistu, krajinu, za tešče virujuč živutnih, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Za dobre politje, za vorožaj plodijo zemljih i časi mirni, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. A te, što plavaju, podržuju za neduže stražajuće polonenek i spasinje jih, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Što vi zvoletiša nam vire vsako i skorbe, knjivu i nužde, Hospode, vi pomolim se. Hospode, pomelo. Zastupe, spase, pomelo je horone nas, Bože Tvojeju, blahodatju. Hospode, pomelo. Presjo tu, prečestu, preblahoslovenu, slavnu vladeću našu Bohrodeću i presnu Divu Mariju, z osime še teme, z osime še teme pomenuši sama i sebe, sami sebe jeden odnoho i sečeća našu Hristu Bohu, vi vidajmo. Čovi, Bote bi naleše tu svjaka slave češje pokloninja, oču i senu i svetomu duhovi, neni pošak čas i na vike vični. Amin. Vosklitnite, vospode, ve vsja zemle, spivajte žimini Jehovi, dajte slavu hvali Jehovo, molet vam je Bogorodici, Spase, spase nas. Skažite Bogovi, jaki strašni dilna tvoji. Zađe voleko i vsele tvoji, pit zlesi u cjeta bi vorote tvoji. Molet vam je Bogorodici. Spase, spase nas. Ja sem ja nekaj poklonjen, če tebi spiva, je tebi. Nekaj še spiva je ime tvojemu sebešni. Molet pa me Bogo rodici, spase, spase nas. Slava Otcu i Senu i Svjotomu duhovi, i nemi i povsjak. 
čas i na vike vični omin jedinorodne senu i slohove Bože besmetnejte i zvolite spasinja našo hora ode vo plote Vit ja to je bohorodeci i presno dive mari nas mi nostalše čolovi hikom i rozpjate bute hreste bože smelt ju smelt podola te oden svjetoji trojci rivno slove mez od sam i svjotem svjatem duhom spasena. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever-Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives through Christ our God. To you, For you are a good and a loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, Son of God risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. Let us come before his face with praise and acclaim him in songs. Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, alleluia. For God is a great Lord and the great King over all. The earth, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Wisdom, stand aright. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. assembly of angels and saints in wonder, glorify your heavenly greatness. O God, chosen bridegroom, we here on earth having you as a great patron in heaven. With expectation come before your protection and call out to you. Save us from the intrigues of the evil one. O most honored patron of the church of Christ. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Escaping to Egypt through the death. Desert paths, you save the most holy bride and the child Jesus from the sword of Herod. Therefore, saints who are persecuted by Satan and lost in the desert of our love, rescue us from his intrigues and protect us from eternal no 
Let's mount through the time of the thrice holy hymn. Bote sete eser boshena shete bislava vosalayemo otio hiseno isvatomo dukovi neni poshakcha ina vikevichni. Amen. Siyote poshe siyote kri. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all. Wisdom, let us be attentive. God is wonderful in his sins. The God of his Bless God in your choirs. Bless the Lord you who spring from Israel. Is wonderful in his sins. The God of Israel. Wisdom. A reading from the letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Over all these virtues, put on love who binds the rest together and makes them perfect. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of the one body, you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, hymns, and inspired songs. Peace be with you. With some, let us be attentive. Remember, O oh Lord, for David all his anxious
Vow to the mighty one of Jacob. Alleluia. 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 Master, bless the reader of the Holy Ghost. Evangelist Matthew. May God, through the intercession of the Holy Glorious, all praise for the Apostle and Evangelist Matthew. Grant that you proclaim the good news with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Wisdom, stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. God with your spirit, A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they had lived together, she was found with child through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, an upright man, unwilling to expose her to the law, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream and said to him, Joseph, son of David, have no fear about taking Mary as your wife. It is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived this child. She is to have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had directed him and received Mary into his home as his wife. He had no relations with her at any time before she bore a son, whom he named Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, glory be to Jesus Christ. Slavi Sousa Christo. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you today as we gather to celebrate the patron of this parish, St. Joseph. Now, whenever you think of St. Joseph and the idea of celebrating him, often our thoughts will turn to Christmas. And of course, even in your beautiful stained glass window featuring St. Joseph, it is St. Joseph at the time of the birth of Jesus. So who knows, our cantors might break out into a few Christmas carols today. But we should not limit our thoughts about St. Joseph only to the aspect of Christmas. Rather, let's consider what the Gospels tell us about St. Joseph. He was a faithful and good spouse to Mary. He was a good parent guardian to Jesus. And he himself provided for the needs of the family, the Holy Family, and their life was not a nice life of comfort and simplicity. But so much of what we hear about Joseph is on a journey, a journey by foot with a donkey, perhaps, from Bethleh to Bethlehem for the census and the birth of Jesus. From Bethlehem, they traveled to Egypt, not by Air Canada or Air Egypt or anything like that, by foot. Then after some time in Egypt, a foreign land, they leave that foreign land and return by foot to Nazareth, where they set up their family living. Indeed, these are the attributes that the Church wants us to remember and to think about St. Joseph, that he provided not only for the material needs of Mary and Jesus, but more importantly, for the spiritual needs of Mary and Jesus 
and even himself as Joseph. And what do we mean by these spiritual needs? He enabled them to follow the call, the vocation that they had received from the Lord to take their part in his plan for salvation. We know very well how Mary's life would continue, and we hear about her several more times in the Gospel accounts, including at the time of the uh, crucifixion, and then finally at the time of the ascension. And Jesus, of course, the Gospel is complete, is an account of all of the life activities of Jesus on the earth. We can say that it was Joseph who played such an important role that enabled Mary and Jesus to live out their part in God's plan of salvation. When we gather today at the beginning of the school year, and we can almost call it the beginning of the work year after summer vacation, this gives reason to honor Joseph. He's often called Joseph the Worker. There's even a Catholic parish here in the city called St. Joseph the Worker Parish. And we consider this and meditate about this uh, on Joseph when we as a parish community begin um, getting back into the regular routine as much as that's possible of our parish activities after the summer vacation time. And so it's quite fitting that over the years this parish community gathers at the beginning of September when life, when we get back to work, to honor St. Joseph. Now what does St. Joseph tell us as a parish? It's not just the fact that you belong to this building named after St. Joseph, but rather that you are identified as a Christian community following the example of Joseph. You, as a Christian community, are called upon not only to provide for the material needs of the members of this parish and others beyond this parish, but even more importantly, you are called to help those around you live out their vocation call that they can do what God is asking them to do on this earth in this life. For example, we think about spouses, how spouses are there to help one another, not only through the good times of married life, but especially through the difficult times. How parent guardians are there to help the children grow and learn and develop into mature citizens of this country and faithful members of the Church of Christ. And we know especially how we are all called to provide the spiritual care that the people around us and members of this community require. And this now, during the difficult times of COVID-19, become ever so important to consider. The spiritual life of the parishioners and their, uh, the providing for their needs through the sacramental and prayer life of the church. When the church was closed down and the doors were shut, and even now when they are open but only in a limited fashion due to this pandemic, we can perhaps realize more so the benefit and need for the spiritual life of St. Joseph Parish and the necessity to reach out and find ever new ways to carry the good news of Jesus Christ to all those people around us. One of them is very obvious, live streaming. Six months ago, how many Christian and church communities thought about live streaming? And now that becomes such a common way to conduct our prayer services, and not just prayer services, but our meetings, events, gatherings, through the use of live streaming. Other ways too, we will have to think and use the intellect that God has blessed us with to figure out how do we provide for the spiritual needs of the members of this parish of St. Joseph 
and others around us and to think of ways that perhaps we've never thought of before and to accept that challenge and go forward with that in mind. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate today the patron of this parish, St. Joseph, let us think about the role model that he is for us as individuals and as a parish community, that in all of these ways we are called upon to live out our vocation call that God has given us as well as those to help those around us live out their vocation call so that indeed we will live, thrive, and grow as children of God during these difficult pandemic times. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slave Suso Christo. Slava Novike. Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Lord of mercy, Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord of mercy, have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray, pray for our most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed Major Archbishop Sviatoslav, our most Reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all, all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy. So pray for our nation under God, for our government, and for all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for all parishioners of St. Joseph's on this, our parish praznik, in thanksgiving to God for our faith community and asking God to continue his blessings upon all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, Lord have, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and a loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Show pit flood, do you toye you saw Shabarash and Emmet to be Slava was a lale, or two he sent away so Tomo Dukovi, Nenny Poshak Chas in a Vikavichni.
cherubim sing the thrice holy into the life giving trinity. Now lay aside all cares of life and mercy of the King of all and holy scores of life. Всіх вас, православних християн, нехай поміне Господь, у Сашві своїм завжди нині повшах час і на віки вічні. Святішого Соленського архарея нашого Франчичка Папу Римського, блаженнішого патріарха нашого Святослава і вещу щенечі діаконському нашій чин, Богом бережений народ наш, правління все вішко, благородник і пошек час хорованок фундаторів і доброчинців святого храму цього. І всіх вас, православні християн, нехай поміри Господь Богу царстві своїм, завжди нині пошек час і на віки вічні. Амінь, що біця в нящих ми прийняли, що його слави не ведемо супроводь анелські чини. Remember me, brother and fellow minister. May the Lord God remember your priesthood and his kingdom. Pray for me, my fellow minister. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. May the same Spirit act again with us all the days of our lives. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always now, forever and ever. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts that have been pre presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. And in the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear. Let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one and being and undivided. The cherubim, seraphim, six winged, many eyed, hovering aloft on their wings, singing, crying, exclaiming, and sang the triumphal hymn. With these blessed holy powers, the Master who loved mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you, truly, all holy, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly, all holy, magnificent is your glory. You shall have the Lord, the Giver, and the Son, and whoever believes in your heart, and your life, and your life, and your life, and your life, is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Oh. And like man of the cup after the oh. supper saying, Drink of it all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Oh. done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting, the right hand, the second, and glorious coming. We offer to you, yours of your own, in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you. Further, we offer you this rational we and unloving worship. We bless you. We treat you. We And we pray to you, Master, bless the Holy Child, and that which is in the child, the precious blood of your Christ. Master, bless them both, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So that may be be for the communicant sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational worship for those who have gone to their rest in faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished its life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to bless you. Oh, God, bearing one. 
was the ever blessed and immaculate mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim ever a virgin you gave birth to god the word oh to mother mother of god we magnify you among the first remember O lord our most holy universal pontiff francis pope of rome his beatitude of Patriarch Sviatoslav, for the sake of your holy <laughs> churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, <laughs> honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember all men and all women. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit ever. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our loving God who has received them as a spiritual fragrance upon his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar may send down on us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord of mercy. That we may be delivered from all tri tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, one that is painless, unashamed, and peaceful, and for a good defense at the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life through Christ our God. Do you Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you, call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace.
Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. The holy things for the holy. One is holy. One is Lord. Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has appeared to us. Illo Christo Joy. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, we worship the undivided trinity for having saved us. Blessed is our God, now always, forever and ever. filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, for you made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, life-giving mystery. Praise 
receive the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, our Lord. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord, name of the Lord, now and forever and forever, now and forever and forever. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord, name Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Navika. I'd like to thank all of you, all those viewing online, especially to Metropolitan Lawrence and Deacon Walter for joining us and leading us in prayer on this parish praznik. Once again, of please remember in your prayers our parish and give thanks to God for all the blessings bestowed upon us uh, throughout our existence here at St. Joseph's and of course ask saint joseph to continue to intercede for all of us just a reminder september 14th tomorrow monday is the feast of the exaltation of the cross we will have a divine liturgy at 7 p.m in the evening it will be live streamed and if you wish to attend in church please phone the parish office tomorrow or register by way of email slava jesus christo slava the blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, always and now, forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Give the blood of the sin. Christ, risen from the dead, our true God, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our fathers among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, blessed Nikita Budka, Bishop and Martyr, and blessed Vasil Vilichkovsky, Bishop and Martyr, and of St. Joseph, whose patronage we celebrate today, and of all the saints, will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. On this, the occasion of the patronal feast of this parish, we ask the good Lord to bless the clergy, the parishioners, the members of the parish council and organizations, our cantors, and all our guests, for many years, nam nohe iblahi lita. Nam nohe lita lita, nam lita. May God. And may God grant 
to our metropolitan, many long and happy years. Nohaya, Vlahaya, Lita. Nohaya, Lita, Lita. Nohaya, Lita. Nohaya, Lita, Lita. Nohaya, Lita. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. 